Well, the beauty about an exhibition that's been going on as long as Young Scientists in its 47th year is that you see key trends coming up every single year. So we're seeing a lot of projects on volcano ash. We're seeing projects on snow. The key area that we've seen a massive growth this year is a 35% increase in technology projects, which is really, really good to see when we, as a nation, are a knowledge economy. My very first impression of the event is that it's huge. The absolute sheer scale of it. When I walked into the RDS many, many years ago now on a school trip to see uh, some projects that were being exhibited by students in the school I attended, McDara's and Temple Oak, and just the scale of it blew me away the overall BT Young Scientist of the Year, which is a huge award. And there's always that sense when you announce that name and you're about to announce it, that this is a name we're going to hear again and again. This is somebody who's going to go on and have a career in science and business. We might even see them on the cover of Forbes magazine down the road. So, and I think everyone feels that in the room. We're delighted in her final year as Uchtaran Naharan that uh, Mary McAleese will be with us and she will officially open the 2011 Young Scientist. Um, from there, we give the students a little bit of downtime just to re-prep, get their heads back together again, and then the judges come to visit. Now, each evening, we have a student's programme for the participating students, so it's not that we close the doors at half five and then they just go away and turn back up at nine o'clock the next morning. We have discos, we have table quizzes, we have all sorts of stuff going on where they can mix on a most social level with the students that they're participating with. All day Thursday, is judging but it's the first day that you see the general public coming in so you will have primary schools coming in in the morning you'll see a lot of secondary schools coming in sort of from mid-morning through and all day friday is the same it's judging in the morning in some cases and then general public friday afternoon and then we get to sort of the highlight of the week uh, from the students' pers uh, perspective, which is the award ceremony. Anybody that doesn't take the time, who's in business, that doesn't take the time to go to the RDS to meet these brilliant young minds is missing a trick. Everybody in business should go. And we're all in, we're in a very difficult situation at the moment from monetary point of view and everything else. But these students just exude confidence and would give you confidence in where we're going to be in five and ten years' time as a country and everything else. They're absolutely phenomenal. Um, so people should get down, get to meet them, see what ideas are there and just see the intelligence of, of our young people.